One thing that's missing here at this maintenance facility is something you'd see at virtually any other mechanics shop, and that's oil or fluids on the ground. The only thing you're going to see here is this, water. So what is this facility here? This is BC Transit Maintenance Facility. So we have all the buses, diesel, and also fuel cell buses in, in the transit. And how many buses are up here again? Is it 20? Part of the fleet? 20 fuel cell buses, and the t total fleet is 32 buses. And how often do they have to come into maintenance? Is this a daily sort of a thing, or just when they need it? The, aside the pre-trip inspection that the drivers have to do, you have them the regular maintenance based on my mileage okay. of each bus. Now, what is is this the? In this in this section, we have the low voltage battery and the the, the knife switch that kills the, the the main power for the the coach. Okay. And on the side behind you, you we have the high voltage systems. So where are the fuel cells? Fuel cells are we're gonna have around to here. Go okay. Yeah. I remember when they first powered these up and they were showing people how clean the energy is and they were drinking the water from the, that was a byproduct of all yeah. this. I mean, can we see that anywhere? Is it? Yeah, it's a bit hidden right now. Okay. Uh, most of the water comes out of the air exhaust at the bottom of the, the module. And also it gets vented uh, at the top. As steam. It's steam, just, right. right, okay. And uh, the liquid water also gets collected in the, in the tank. And then if, when the bus is actually running, then you'll see the water overflowing. And that's the only uh, byproduct, I guess, that's coming out of all this. Right, the, uh, aside the power and the, uh, the heat, yes. Right. Water. No pollution. No pollution. No carbon dioxide. No. Nope. It's all, it's just water. Yeah. Okay. So here are the fuel cells in the actual bus? Correct. This is the fuel cell module that okay. uh, develops the DC power. And how much power are we talking about out of this one particular fuel cell? This module can produce up to 150 kilowatts. 150 kilowatts? Yes. That's a lot of power. That's the average is. home is about, what, three or four, maybe? You got me there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a, this is a lot of power that we're talking about here. Yes, yes. Yeah. And uh, for the considering the size of the box, it's, uh, it's, it's uh, yeah, very good power. Hmm. This bus is a hybrid vehicle. It also well, it utilizes a battery pack that provides also DC power. So the fuel cell will provide the power to the fuel cell. Uh, fuel cells will provide the power to the battery packs, and then the, the battery packs provides power to the to, to the drivetrain. Yes. I see. Okay. Now, does every uh, bus have this configuration? Yes. Okay. And is that typical with any sort of fuel cell vehicle that there's this battery with the fuel cells? Uh, typically, a hybrid vehicle has two systems: uh, two storage of energy or a fuel cell. But every uh, uh, bus, fuel cell bus, could be uh, different, uh, have different configuration. Okay. Yeah, there, there are fuel cell buses that are like 100% fuel cells. Mm -hmm. That means they don't have any uh, battery packs or any other source of, of right. power. So, so why have the battery along with the fuel cell? What, what are you getting out of that? The, the hybrid is, is much more efficient. Because the fuel cell don't have to run when there's no requirement for power. And they can go for a longer period of time without yeah. fueling yes. up again? The power management is, is, is a much better because mm -hmm. we can shut down the fuel cells, we can run on battery, and the regenerating brake system also provide power to the, to the battery packs. As a passenger on a bus like this, you may not notice that the technology is all around you. The batteries are stored under these seats right here. The gas form of the hydrogen is stored up on the roof, and it's sent to the fuel cells that are at the back. The system yep. is booting up. It's, it's gone through a whole bunch of checks in the system to, ch to see if everything is OK. And then we're going to see the battery light that indicates this vehicle is, is in EV mode, which is electric vehicle. So it's running off the battery? Off the battery only. And if the, 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 the driver desires, they can start the fuel cell module that will provide extra power. So, can I sit here? So now we're ready to basically take off with the bus. But I will start the fuel cell modules just to, to get the full capability. But, but Martin, wait, we haven't paid our fare yet. <laughs> <laughs> this is a free ride? <laughs> is this a free ride for you, special guest? <laughs> 
So the click we just heard is the, actually the, the tank valves for the hydrogen. Okay. And then hydrogen is sent, is being sent it's starting to the, flow into the fuel cells. The fuel cells. Yes. And then the fuel cells should start momentarily. So what's missing is when you're on a typical bus, it's usually shaking back and forth and rattling. You sort of feel this big motion that's happening. There's Correct. none of that. Right. Correct. This it's this very quiet run, and that's the advantage of a hybrid bus, fuel cell bus. It doesn't have to run all the time. So I'm ready to go. I'm just gonna press my brakes, put it in gear, release my brakes. So the, the term hitting the gas is not really correct in this case. Yeah, well maybe we should rephrase uh, this. Hit, hitting the fuel cell or yes. hit the battery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's go with the clean energy. It's pretty smooth. pedal go. It's starting to break a little, it, right? Exactly. It has the retarder that is sending the power back to the battery pack. So there's actually quite a bit of power, it feels like, in this bus. Correct. Whistler has a lot of uh, Healy roads, and these buses have proven to be very good at going, going up the hills. How do these buses do in, in cold weather? They do really well. Uh, there's no problem, because overnight, uh, we have the heaters that keep the, the fuel cells warm, and during operation, the fuel cells uh, remain at operating temperature. Hmm. So some people think that a fuel cell vehicle may not have a lot of torque or power, but this bus really feels like it has that. Yes, uh, it's all electric motors that drive the, the, the vehicle, and the, the voltage that is coming out of the fuel cell and the battery pack is, is high enough to, to drive any kind of, of uh, electric drive. Hmm. And there's no, on the gears here, it's just forward, reverse, neutral. There's no actual transmission? Correct. There's no need for transmission. It's just a direct connection with the electric drive to the, uh, the wheels. Now what happens when you take your foot off the accelerator? There is a regenerating, regenerating brake system. So you didn't need to push the brake there. Correct. It came to a stop. Yes. To total stop, I have to hold the brake. But otherwise, the regenerating system stops the, the bus. What, and what's the regenerating system? What's happening with that? It sends the, the electric drives regenerate power and then send everything to the hybrid system to recharge the batteries. Okay. That allows for a energy conservation. So what is this uh, outlet here? Oh, we, we have uh, black heat, uh, heaters for the, the buses during the winter time. That allows the fuel cell to remain uh, above zero degrees and so that we avoid uh, freezing. Okay. So can you take us on board? Freezing. I mentioned zero degrees. I don't know if you're familiar with oh, the... Oh, uh, Celsius Fahrenheit? Yeah, Celsius. Yep. So during the pre-trip, the, the drivers will come here, unplug the, the heaters, close the door and then start up the bus and, and they're on their way. Cool. Yeah. Okay.